What's happening, webheads? In today's video, I'm going to be going through the top 15 Spider-Man alternative looks I would love to see in the sequel to Insomniac Games' Spider-Man PS4. Insomniac Games have delivered an absolutely staggering 43 suits available to play in in Spider-Man PS4's first installment. And I think it's safe to say there's at least a suit for everyone. There's at least one suit in there that'll tickle your nostalgia in some way. Whether you're a fan of the MCU or Spider-Man in the 90s, modern comic books, heck, even the Sam Raimi movies get some love in this game. To ask for more would simply be greedy. Although I will admit that, for my tastes anyway, 43 suits is an awful lot. And there's a lot of suits in Spider-Man PS4's first installment that I would never use, so I'm keeping my own list down to just 15 suits that I care about. And please be advised that this is just my opinion, you don't have the power to change it, nor should you try. So don't get upset if your favourite Spidey alt is not on this list. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So in 15th place we have the classic black suited Spider-Man, the classic symbiote suit everyone always remembers from the Secret Wars comics. There's two reasons why this is so low down on this list. Reason number one is that it's been featured in a lot of Spider-Man games, but admittedly we've never seen it on current gen hardware before. I mean, okay, it wasn't unlockable in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game which was released on current gen hardware, but please, you can't call that current gen. It looks atrocious. Another reason why this is so low down on this list though is simply because we're actually very likely to see it anyway as a part of the game's story. Admittedly, I feel like Venom and the Black Suit stories are pretty played out, especially in video games, but I look forward to seeing what Insomniac Games does with it. After all, they took web swinging, a staple of Spider-Man games going back since Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 2, and made it feel fresh. I honestly respect the fact that they omitted it from the first Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game, even as an unlockable. They wanted to feature it in a plot where it's relevant, and going by the after credits of Spider-Man PS4, it looks like it's going to be just that in this one. I'm just wondering if they're going to redesign it, in which case, my request for the classic Secret Wars look still stands. Although I will say I'd prefer if they keep it just black and don't do any blue or purple highlights like previous Spider-Man games have done. It is hard to say because they did take the black suit from Spider-Man 2099 and give it blue highlights and they did the same for Iron Spider's black parts and gave them blue highlights in the first game. So I do wonder if the symbiote is going to have blue highlights or purple highlights too. Either way, I'm just looking forward to seeing this and I hope that if they do redesign it that they throw in the classic design too. In 14th place, we have classic Miles Morales, the original Ultimate Comics all-new Spider-Man look. This is another one that ends up low on this list simply because it's pretty likely that we will be seeing Miles Morales suit up in this game anyway, going by the after credits of the previous one. Miles Morales' gameplay segments in the previous game weren't exactly a highlight, but they've established now that he has got superpowers of his own, which will hopefully bring us a new Spider-Man with a new skill set that we can just switch to once the game is over. We can hope. The thing is, this will be Miles Morales' very very first adventure as Spider-Man, unless we get a time jump. And they did give Peter some redesigns in the previous Spider-Man game, so it does make me wonder if they're going to redesign Miles Morales' suit for this one, in which case the request still stands for a classic Miles Morales outfit. Another point worth noting is that I think only one Spider-Man game has the Miles Morales costume playable, and that's The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And it's safe to say that that game... It, it doesn't fare up well among the rest of Spidey's back catalogue, let alone this one, so it is really worth giving it a second go. In 13th place we have Mark Bagley's original Ultimate Peter Parker Spider-Man. This is pretty low on this list because we have already had an entire game devoted to Ultimate Spider-Man, and Ultimate Spider-Man was playable in Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I myself also feel that Ultimate Spider-Man is a little bit over-celebrated. I'm referring to the comics there, not the games, keep your pants on. But Mark Bagley's art style is so distinctive and so youthful and energetic. It would be great to see it come to life once again in this one. Do it in kind of the same way that they did the the vintage suit in the first game, in which it's kind of cell shaded has a very cartoonish, illustrated sort of a look to it. See, the thing with the vintage suit in the previous game, great as it is, it, it doesn't really resemble any classic Spider-Man. I mean, yes, it's classic Spider-Man, but it's the insomniac classic Spider-Man done in the style of a vintage comic book. I would love to see them actually do a vintage comic book Spidey design in the style of a printed comic book. And I think Mark Bagley's design in Ultimate Spider-Man is a great candidate for this. In 12th place is Captain Universe. There is nothing more nostalgic 
than remembering playing as Captain Universe in the original 2000 Spider-Man PlayStation 1 game. Because Captain Universe was the one alternate suit that granted you God Mode. Now I'm not asking for God Mode as a suit power in the sequel. Unless this suit unlocks at the very end of the game. God Mode might have been a fun novelty back in the day, but now it could be truly game-breaking and just kind of make it a bit... Well, it could render the challenge superfluous, put it that way. Now, to be honest, this suit is pretty damn ugly and ridiculous looking, but that's partly why I want it in the game. They had Bagman in the previous one, so I wouldn't mind seeing a few gag suits in this. I'd certainly rather this than Spider-Man in his underwear, that's for sure. In 11th place is the 60s cartoon Spider-Man. If you remember, this design omitted the webs on the chest section entirely to save time and money. The 60s Spider-Man cartoon is something that's had a surprising amount of influence over Spider-Man, well, mainly just that theme song, to be honest, but the point still remains. Everyone still looks back on this fondly, but it was so crude and kind of terrible. Another good reason to include this as a gag suit. You could use the same shaders as what they used for the vintage suit in the first game once again to make it look printed, make it look flat and two-dimensional. I think you guys are going to notice that I am very classic Spidey inclined on this list. Part of me wonders if it's too much to ask to have this suit animate differently, give it a different set of animations that are very crude and very shoddy. But I guess that's an unrealistic expectation because, I mean, remember the Into the Spider-Verse suit in Spider-Man PS4 1? Uh, it didn't move any differently to the other ones, so I guess it's probably too much to ask. In 10th place is yet another cell shaded suit. I would love to see the Todd McFarlane suit. Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man would probably require a bigger, more hulking character model, which is why it's probably a little unrealistic for this one. I'm not sure how much they deviated from the body type in the first game, and that's why I say that. But Todd McFarlane's Spider-Man is very distinctive. It's red and black like in the Ditko days, but you could add the little blue shades on there. He's got a lot of webbing all over him. He's very, very webbed. He's very ripped. He's got that giant spider, those giant black frames around the eyes, and they're very angry and intimidating looking. But I guess this one is also one that you wouldn't necessarily have to do as a cell shaded version like the vintage suit. You could kind of bring this suit to life by making it a more intimidating, meaner looking version of the classic Spider-Man with more webs on it and, you know, of course use the iconic eyes and symbols. Put it in red and black or just red and very dark blue and make that kind of dark blue kind of reflective. I don't know, I think they could really go to town with this design and make something very alternative. Either way, I would love to see Todd McFarlane get some love in this. In ninth place is the Amazing Spider-Man 2 costume. Throughout the ages, Spider-Man's designs have been done pretty nicely in games by Activision. The Raimi suits were translated about as well as they could be for the hardware at the time. And when the Amazing Spider-Man's game tie-in came around, the suit didn't look half bad in it. When the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game rolled around, however, like with the movies, the quality just took a nosedive, and the graphics really saw quite a world of difference. I'm sorry, Beanox, but this here, this very rubbery, orange-looking Spider-Man, does not pass for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. As poorly conceived of a movie as the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is, it does have a really spectacular-looking Spider-Man costume in it. I think... Everybody loves the suit from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 because there's just nothing wrong with it. It's a pure vanilla Spider-Man. Now, I guess a good reason against it would be that we, you know, we already have a lot of takes on classic Spider-Man. I mean, my list is mostly classic Spider-Man, as I said earlier. Um, and I, I guess a lot of people would say there's a lot of similarities between the Raimi suit and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. I, for one, can see the differences a mile off, but I guess, you know... It, it's still got that sort of cell pattern, it's a very similar texture, the webbing is still raised, etc, etc, etc. I don't know, guys. I, I just think it would be really nice to have a complete set of movie Spider-Mans to be playable in the Spider-Man PS4 series. And I just really feel like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit got cheated and shafted in pretty much every single regard. It barely appears in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. In the game, it's really improperly translated. Give it a break, get it convincingly conceived in this one. In 8th place is Splendiferous Spider-Hero, and not everyone remembers Splendiferous Spider-Hero for obvious reasons. This suit comes from the Dark Age, that era where Doc Ock was Spider-Man. And we had this sort of joke vigilante step-up called the Splendiferous Spider-Hero. It was just like a one-shot thing. As far as gag suit goes, I think this is the ideal candidate. And I guess if you wanted him to have like a suit power, you could give him his nunchucks. The demand for this one is going to be pretty low naturally, but I'd quite like to see it. 
In seventh place is the Superior Spider-Man Mark I. The Superior Spider-Man Mark I tends to get pretty overlooked in comparison to its second version. But to be honest, the second version is ultimately just a repurposing of the Alex Ross design unused from Spider-Man 1. Doc Ock's first costume as Spider-Man looks exactly how you would expect a Doc Ock-themed Spider-Man costume to look. Everything about it that was once appealing is now imposing and very technical and practical looking. Gone are the inspiring colours of red and blue, replaced with a more muted red and black. And the whole thing just looks metallic, and I think Insomniac Games did a spectacular job adapting the all-new, all-different design, so I'd love to see them take this on. As well as that, the fact that the previous game was very Doc Ock-centric, the inclusion of the Superior Spider-Man costume does feel like it's in order. In sixth place is Superior Spider-Man Mark II. As I said earlier, you could kind of double down the Superior Spider-Man V2 and make it into kind of like the Alex Ross movie concept suit, which is why this would be a good pick, because you can kind of fantasize about which version it is. It's a very slick, very imposing design for Spidey, and I for one would love to swing around New York City with it. As well as that, the suit power could be those four long legs that come out of the back of it. I think there's kind of already been some themes of Superior Spider-Man in Spider-Man PS4, as our Spider-Man is a very teched out version that does use a lot of gadgets as made and perfected by Dr. Otto Octavius. Using the signature suit as worn by Dr. Otto Octavius while he was in Peter Parker's body, it's, you know, it's a great way of rounding it all off. In fifth place, we have Mars Morales' early suit from Into the Spider-Verse. As I said earlier, it's pretty much a given that Mars Morales will likely get to suit up in Spider-Man PS4's second part. And with great suit up comes great alternative suits. And wouldn't this just be the ideal candidate? But then I'm not really sure how to execute this one. Do we just make the suit as it would look in Spider-Man PS4's world? and make it kind of realistic and just put it on the character model of Miles that we have? Or do we use the one from the film like they did with the Into the Spider-Verse Peter suit in the previous game? I mean, I'm fine with either avenue to be honest, but I feel like being as they got the Peter B. Parker look in the previous game so spot on to what it is in the movie, it would feel weird to do this one any differently. And the same thought process applies to my next pick at number four, the Into the Spider-Verse Mars Morales final suit. I'm gonna admit, I think the redesign for Mars Morales' costume in Into the Spider-Verse was an improvement over the original. It's full of character and charm, and it's got its own little design elements that just make it what it is. The whole spray paint motif, I just love it. It's got so much character, and it says so much about who Mars Morales is. Maybe that's a bad thing when these suits are meant to be disguises. But I think of all the different looks that Mars Morales has had over the years, the very few that there are, this is the one that would please the most people. And as I said before, with the previous Mars Morales suit, you could kind of do it between maybe doing it in the film's art style, or maybe adapting it to the new style that's in Spider-Man PS4. Either way, I hope to see the Into the Spider-Verse final Mars Morales costume appear in Spider-Man PS4's sequel. It'd be kind of rude not to, right? In third place, we have the Amazing Spider-Man 1 suit. Now, admittedly, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 has my least favorite Spider-Man suit of all of the film Spidey costumes. It strays a little further than the comics than they usually do. It's very, very muted, and it looks like a basketball. Also, those bright yellow eyes. And it's so utterly textured, it's almost kind of over-designed. The thing is, though, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to see the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, so why would this one come up higher in this list than that one did? Well, simply put, it's unique. Presumably Spidey's classic suit will be making a return for this game. And the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit is yet another classic Spider-Man costume. But the Amazing Spider-Man 1 suit is something a little bit different. And as I said before, the Amazing Spider-Man movies, they are not my ideal Spider-Man. But let's say you like the costumes in those movies and want to see that applied to a Spider-Man that you do like a lot better, then this is a perfect opportunity for that. As well as that, there are people that are really massive fans of the Amazing Spider-Man series and are sad that it ended. You can almost make this feel like a continuation if you wear those suits. Plus, it would be really nice to have the entire backlog for Spidey's film suit history. In second place, we have the Spider-Man 3 symbiote costume. Am I the only one who really, really liked this look? Sure, it's your typical Raimi Spidey dipped in black ink at the end of the day, but it looks great and I really do like the difference in the spiders. And I'd love to see this suit brought to life with PS4 hardware. You see, in the Spider-Man 3 game, the graphics certainly were not anything to write home about. Now, we do get to see the Spider-Man 3 black suit sort of represented in the Amazing Spider-Man 1 game, but 
beside the point, I would really love to see this suit get some representation in this game, because after all, the Raimi suit looked fantastic, they did an amazing job, but I realise that any kind of Raimi suit is a big ask because of how much modelling has to go on with the webs. Either way though, I would love to see this suit make an appearance, as another alternative suit for the symbiote Spider-Man, who we'll be presumably seeing in the next one. Alright, time for some honourable mentions. It's totally not like I just thought of these while I was going through this list and thought, ah oh, man, I really wish I'd included these. Well anyway, here we go. A low poly Spider-Man PlayStation 1 skin. How cool would that be? It's another sort of gag suit at the end of the day, but ultimately I just really would like the idea of being able to play in that very pixelated, very low poly Spider-Man. And it would be really hilarious to see him among the really high poly other characters in world. Just a minute ago in the video I did say that I really wanted to see Spidey's entire film backlog get turned into suits in the Spider-Man PS4 game series. We've already got the traditional Raimi suit, so how about Peter's wrestler suit when he's the human spider? Or perhaps the Spider-Man 1 suit where the emblems are just a bit different. Also generally the colours are a little bit different too. I know that Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3's red suits were a tiny bit different, but I'm not going to ask for that because this is ridiculous. Just a waste of data really. And in first place, the number one suit I would love to see in the second part of Insomniac Spider-Man Saga, Spider-Man as designed by Steve Ditko. The original Spider-Man. Now this could be done in two ways. You could make a red and black Spider-Man costume that has everything about the Steve Ditko Spider-Man, such as the shape of the eyes and the chest emblem. Heck, you could go the whole hog, go a full Amazing Fantasy 15 and give him a blue back spider instead of a red one. And just really sort of realize that original version of Spider-Man, complete with web wings, perhaps as like the suit power, maybe give him a glide ability. Or, as I've suggested a number of times on this list, do it in the way that the vintage suit was done where it is cel-shaded, and make this costume look exactly the way it did in the pages of Amazing Fantasy XV. I feel like it's kind of surprising how little love Ditko tends to get in these things. This was the very first, very original Spider-Man design, and no one ever seems to talk about it. I mean, yeah, Spider-Man's design did not change that much over the years as far as classic Spidey goes, but there's still some pretty distinctive design elements to Ditko's Spider-Man, especially that big front spider logo. And I think this would also be a really nice way to pay tribute to Steve Ditko, who passed away last year. So there you have it. Those are the top 15 Spider-Man costumes I would love to see in Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 4. I mean, okay, praying it's on the PlayStation 4. I don't want to fork out all that for another console just to play Spider-Man. It's too early for the PlayStation 5. I just want to point that out. I've just recently paid for my PlayStation 4. Jesus Christ, 2015, is that how long ago it was? Jesus. I miss not having bills. Well then, you guys can help me out with that, because in the description below are links to the Patreon, where you can help this channel get bigger and better, help me pay my bills, help me with all that stuff. All while I just cook up new content for you guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, and also in the description below is a link to the Discord, where you can chat it out with all of your fellow geeks and gamers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. No, what about it? It's cancelled, dude. For real? You didn't get the notification? No, I didn't. Oh, well, it's cancelled. Yeah, well, I came all this way for nothing then. Hey, you, you wanna hang out? No. Uh, I, I just heard there was gone, man. Tracy. You gotta get out of there. Tracy? Tracy. Okay, so I guess the best advice I could give to anybody is this. Evaluate your circumstances. Be brave. Be prepared to fail, but always get up. You owe it to yourself to be marvelous, so why regret being anything less? Well said. I'll see you around, buddy.